destroyed during the most audacious battle of the First World War. It's gone straight through. Even though the Germans were using armor-piercing rounds by this point in the war, it's unlikely that all soldiers would have been issued them at this time. So piercing the side of a tank with a standard issue ball round would have been impossible. But Robert Shaw thinks that perhaps the German infantry soldiers used a sniper trick to deal with the British tanks. The problem of firing a normal ball round at metal plate tends to squash and distort and bounces off. At the beginning of the First World War, there was no need really for snipers. But as the war develops, they get more and more important. And they start using steel plates with a slot through to hide behind and shoot at enemy soldiers. Well, to kill the snipers, you need to punch a hole through the armor. Very good shot. These rounds simply bounce off. But if you reverse the round, the theory was it would make a hole in the armor and you could hit the sniper on the far side. But once tanks appear on the battlefield, it's realized that actually tanks are steel, like sniper plates. Therefore, if you can punch a hole through a sniper plate with a reverse round, you should be able to make a hole in a tank in the same way. Basically, the stories are that, that, that they're mentioned in lots of books about tanks, about Germans firing reversed ball ammunition at tanks and it going through. And as far as I know, no one's tried an experiment. Military personnel conducting the test are skeptical of Robert Shaw's theory. Can we fire it now? I wonder. Oh, Do you know a, what? There is a hole. There's Bloody a hole. hell. There's a it's gone right through. Hole. That has oh. gone straight through. That means that this, this story about the reverse round working is that it's done exactly that it's one. It's drilled a neat hole straight through the armour. Andy, what do you think of that? That's then? the cleanest hole we've had Not so far. Not expected at all. Not expected at all. And yet we've got it. Look at it fall go in. The bullet explodes on impact. So the bullet itself never penetrates the metal. But the energy of the explosion is transferred to the metal and pushes a hole right through it. I mean, this is relatively short range, but if you're in a, a, tr a, a trench firing a tank, knowing you can punch a hole through it, just by using a standard rifle with a standard round which you adapt a bit, it says that tanks are, are, are quite vulnerable, even to a man just with a rifle. F6 is hit several times by German machine gun fire. Many of the rounds pierce the tank. Look at that shockwave. I mean, it's just the waves moving through there, waves of energy, which is why it's so catastrophic to what it does in terms of you know, if that was someone's interior.